I think the universe is so big, there has to be life out there. You think about just the size of our Milky Way galaxy. Our Milky Way has a few hundred billion stars just in our Milky Way. And then we know now that there are several hundred billion other galaxies. Astronomy really gets to the heart of our big questions. You know, not just our questions as scientists, but our questions as human beings. Where do we come from and how do we get here? And then of course the big one, are we alone? Every assumption that man has ever made about space has been wrong. From the very early days when we thought we were the center of the universe and they thought the sun was the center of the universe, the earth was flat. So there is absolutely no reason why we can't think we're wrong now if we think we're the only life out there. The James Webb Space Telescope is specifically going to have capabilities to study the atmospheres of exoplanets. And that's really, really hard to do. We start with visible light, with red light you could see, but we go out to 28 microns wavelength, which is much longer than your eyeball can pick up, and that's uh, heat radiation. So we'll be able to pick up heat radiation from distant things that the Hubble cannot detect. It turns out the infrared wavelengths are great wavelengths for looking for chemical signatures. Many of the kinds of things that, you know, that life would, would be evidence of life, things like methane and water, have spectral bands in the infrared. So it turns out that Webb actually, in some ways, wavelength-wise, is very ideal if they're searching for chemical signatures. Finding a planet that would be definitely capable of supporting life is obviously a big goal, and that would be really exciting. Um, so once we've found those sorts of planets, um, the next step would be <laughs> building bigger telescopes. After the Webb telescope, of course, we could build a bigger telescope that's capable of finding the, the signs of life oxygen and the other chemical elements and, and compounds that we have in our own atmosphere, we can look at that in some other planet and say, yeah, that's a lot like home. So the universe is huge, it's vast, there has to be life out there.